How much will 1,000 of Cadena's native cryptocurrency called KDA be worth during this bull run? Now, to answer that question, we have to assume a hypothetical scenario. And let's say KDA were to go to the price of $25 during this bull run. That would, of course, mean that at that point, 1,000 KDA would be worth $25,000. Because again, you know, 1,000 KDA times 25, it's 25,000. Now, even though nothing I say is financial advice nor guarantee, do I believe that KDA could go to the price of $25 during this bull run? Hypothetically, yes. And now, of course, again, non-financial advice, not a guarantee. But the reason why is because I think that Kadena is arguably one of the best layer one blockchains out there. Some people like to say that, yeah, it's CACA, it's all this type of stuff. But here's the thing. In terms of the price of KDA, it's not an accurate representation as to how well Kadena is doing because I think Kadena has many amazing traits that people often look for in a blockchain, for instance, because people usually take a look at Solana. They say, wow, it's so fast. Well, isn't Kadena also fast? They say, wow, when it comes to Solana, it has very low gas fees. Well, so does Kadena, in my opinion. Also, on top of that, they say that, wow, when it comes to Solana, it's so scalable. Well, isn't Kadena as well? So here's the thing. People oftentimes don't understand this. They think that, oh, Kadena's trash, it's CAC, all this type of stuff. Well, here's the thing. Not having a lot of fans, you know, it's native cryptocurrency, not doing the best in terms of price. It doesn't mean that it's doing bad, in my opinion. Fundamentally speaking, again, I'm not saying in terms of sentiment. I'm not saying in terms of hype. Again, purely fundamentally speaking, I think Kadena is a very fantastic project. They also take a look at how a member of their advisory team, Dr. Stuart Haber, the co-inventor of blockchain, that's actually true, by the way. It may sound crazy, but that's, you know, again, true. So, yeah, that's kind of wild to think about. Now, some people like to say that, oh, wow, this is just a marketing gimmick, all this type of stuff. Well, even if, let's say, we assume that hypothetically it's a marketing gimmick, who cares? It's working because I'm even talking about it. Not to mention, if a meme coin partners with a celebrity or an athlete, it's okay. They say, yeah, it's not a marketing gimmick. They're just doing what they do. But then when Kadena has the co inventor of blockchain, as part of their team, they say, yeah, that's not acceptable. But then when it comes to meme coin, that's okay. This one's not okay. I mean, that's a double standard. I mean, come on, right? This makes no sense in my opinion. So when it comes to Kadena, the way you take a look at it is that if they use this as a marketing technique, who cares? I would actually want them to use it as a marketing technique. They don't really talk about it that much though. But in my opinion, they should because it's like bragging rights, right? It's like, let's say you became like a UFC champion. Why would you not talk about it one day, right? It's like, let's say someone becomes like a tennis Grand Slam champion or whatever like that. And let's say they become a tennis coach and then they don't want to talk about it. Like, why? You know, just say it, right? Because it gains credibility. So why not? Now, some people like to argue that, yeah, you know, when it comes to Kadena, man, it's so trash because, you know, PACT, right? Now, P-A-C-T, again, PACT, the programming language used in Kadena smart contracts, they like to say, oh, wow, it's so difficult, all this type of stuff. But I think people sometimes... And they have this program in their mind because I think they just regurgitate what other people say when it comes to this. And most of the people who are saying this, they're not even developers. Like, how will they know that Pact is difficult or not? And the way you take a look at it is this. You know, if Pact is so difficult, why would there be, you know, many people who believe in Kadena? Not to mention as well, when it comes to the job of like a developer, like a programmer, again, their task, right, their job is to actually get this type of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? It's like trying to tell like Messi or like Ronaldo or whatever and saying that, yeah, you know, it's hard to like, you know, kick a free kick or whatever. So don't do it. You know, that's like telling Tom Brady. Yeah, we know that there's a lot of good, you know, NFL defensive backs, all this type of stuff. So make sure that your throws are under like five yards. It's like, what? That makes no sense. His job is to be an NFL quarterback, at least at one point. Right. So, of course, he's going to take chances down the field, all this type of stuff. It's only logical that a developer of course, they're not going to find Pact difficult to understand. Even if it was difficult, I think like a real deal, like programmer, like developer, they're going to catch this like very easily, man. They're going to know this type of stuff. That's like telling Steph Curry that, yeah, shooting is difficult. So don't shoot three pointers or whatever. Like what? Of course, he shoots three pointers. He's amazing at that. You know what I mean? You know, here's the thing. If someone actually believes in Kadena and they want to build on it, in my opinion, they're going to find a way to make it work. Here's the thing, right? Okay, Pact may be allegedly difficult. I mean, to a real deal developer, they don't care. You know, that right there is like riding a bicycle to them. It's not hard at all. At least that's the way I view it. So when people like to argue that, oh yeah, Kadena has no future because of PAC, no, I disagree. I mean, come on, man. You know, I bet in the beginning it was kind of difficult to understand like Ethereum, all this type of stuff. But eventually it's like people figured it out. You know, 
sure, you know, if let's say I try to speak some Portuguese, maybe it might be difficult at first, but if I actually lived in like Brazil, for instance, right? In Brazil, as they say over there, you know, if let's say I did that, probably in a couple months, I'll be able to speak some Portuguese. It's like, for instance, again, as well, if a developer actually wants to learn Pact, I think they'll be able to get it. You know what I mean? And here's the crazy thing. When it comes to Cadena, it's a project where it's not so big to the point that their market cap is too high and then the room for growth is caca. But then at the same time, it's not so low either where the risk is very high. Because here's the thing. There are many micro caps out there that could very well defeat KDA during a fully fledged bull run in terms of like percentage increase. That can't be denied because of course, there might be like a meme coin with like a $100,000 market cap that we don't know. Or like, let's say a very small project that has like a $1 million market cap that could very well do like a two or 300x. We just don't know, right? But then the risk is, of course, very high. A lot of people, they invest in like 100 different like micro caps. And then maybe in some cases, they don't even get one. We never know. So that's why I think it's much better for me to believe in something like Kadena because again, KDA, room for growth isn't bad, but then potential downside doesn't seem too caca because Kadena is kind of an established project. It already has like a mainstay, so to speak. So yeah, the way I take a look at it is that, again, there is risk, of course, but then it doesn't feel as great as like a micro cap, if that makes sense. But then the potential upside still feels pretty impressive. Not to mention, right, going to the price of $25, that's around a 45x from here. Could you imagine that? Again, it's not bad whatsoever. Sometimes people, they're under this misconception that, oh, wow, something doesn't do like a 100x, like a 200x, it's caca. No, I disagree. Sometimes enough is enough. That's the way I take a look at it. And it's not like $25 is too bad. You know, you take a look at how considering current circulating supply at that point, market cap would be around $7 billion. I mean, caralho, boha, that's a little bit of Portuguese right there. But even besides that point, you have to take into consideration how when it comes to a $7 billion market cap, that's not even 10% of Dogecoin's all-time high market cap. That's crazy to think about. Dogecoin at one point reached over $80 billion of market cap. This is crazy. Now, I'm not saying Kadena is a meme coin or something like that because it's most definitely not. But I think you get what I mean. You know, it just feels kind of crazy to think about how a $7 billion market cap, that's already, again, over a 40x from here. It's kind of ridiculous, again, to think about. And during a fully-fledged bull run, keep in mind, a high tide raises all ships, meaning that typically during a fully-fledged bull run, again, as altcoins pump, people, they usually just fall more into a bunch of random projects. And KDA, I don't see why it won't go along with the ride. You know, people even as of right now are pumping like Luna Classic for fun. I mean, could you imagine that? That's how bored some people are in some cases, right? Luna Classic? You take a look at what happened to Do Kwan. That guy allegedly fled to Europe. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, come on here, right? When it comes to Luna Classic, it's pretty much been done ever since like a couple of years ago. But then people still sometimes pump it for fun. And again, that's Luna Classic. They treat it like a meme coin now in some cases, right? Don't get me wrong. I lost a big when it comes to Luna Classic, but it's kind of crazy to think about how in the world of cryptocurrencies, when people are bored, especially during a fully-fledged bull run, you know, things could very well pump for no reason in some cases. It's seemingly, right? But when it comes to Kadena, it's kind of crazy because fundamentals are amazing, but then KDA, it's still relatively low. So that's what I really like about it. Not to mention, Kadena has a very impressive team. You take a look at how, again, the two founders are Stuart Popejoy and Will Martino. You know, they too, right? Both of them, I should say. They actually helped build JP Morgan's first ever blockchain, now known as JPM Coin. So that's crazy to think about. So when it comes to Kadena, I don't think it's bad at all by any means. It's a very amazing layer one blockchain. And again, KDA at the price of $25 during this bull run wouldn't surprise me at all. And I think around like six months from right now, around a year from right now, things could be very different. So all I got to do is just stay patient, continue to accumulate, hold, and I just wait. That's it. Because when there's over 600 million crypto owners, when there's the Bitcoin ETF, when also there's the Ethereum ETF, which I'm not really a big fan of when it comes to Ethereum. But again, the ETF is still amazing, in my opinion, for the whole sentiment. Also on top of that, when you take a look at the number of institutional investors, the amount of enterprise adoption, I could very well see Bitcoin going to the price of, let's say, $150,000 during this war. And I think if it were to do that, again, KDA, you know, with a bunch of other altcoins going up, I don't see why not. Again, $25 at that point, I don't think it's crazy. All I got to do, again, is stay patient. Dollar cost average, continue to accumulate, hold, and I just wait because... I think better days are ahead, and I just can't wait for this bull run. I'm very excited. And feel free to become a channel member if you want to. By becoming a channel member, you can get a prioritized response from me in the comments. And also on top of that, you can use these cool badges and stickers when you do comment. So I think that's awesome. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Willie the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm up. Peace. Bye.